Hey guys, today I am going to talk about MetaZoo. MetaZoo is not doing well right now. It's doing so poorly. Alpha Investment has traveled through time to tell people it's not investable. Apparently, right? Uh, MetaZoo is on the brink of collapse. Um, a lot of news is coming out why the artists have left. A lot of news about their CEO, Andy Son, is very, very disturbing. I would even go and say that uh, it is a company that you should not want to work for and you cannot support because supporting this company supports uh, essentially a corrupt, uh, in my opinion, a very corrupt organization, ethically bankrupt. And this is, they're supposedly making children's card games this is pretty ridiculous in my personal opinion it's not something that i would ever recommend you buying into this so the problem with meta zoo is the people around it are very shady individuals they don't really care about the player base uh, they still haven't paid their champion money which is unheard of you know, in one of the things they promised was they would pay them in 2023. They never made an attempt. And like I said, I knew they weren't going to pay them because why announce that you're going to pay them? If you pay them, wouldn't you just pay them and announce that you already paid them? Why announce that they are going to be paid? Just pay them, right? I mean, $20,000 of cash and $30,000 of product isn't that big for this big anime and the video games and the backpacks and the Rudy signs and and I'm gonna get to Rudy's. Uh, I'm gonna get to Rudy's thing right now. I think I want to really emphasize a few different points here. The money you spent on this card game could have been spent on anything else, uh, including helping your life, including. Um, It is surprising and shocking and even a little bit bizarre, right? When you have to backtrack on what clearly there are emails, there are videos, there are things indicating that you did believe this was an investment, especially when you put your own stamp on it, your own promo cards, your own playmat. And even to the 6.9 box, which was essentially just a meta zoo box, right? In disguise. So why would you be promoting? I mean, Alpha Investments, there you go. That, that's the name of the channel. It is very difficult to then warm your way out and say, you know what? I, I wasn't giving investment advice, right? You're charging premiums. You're charging all this stuff. Meta zoo, I hope, is a lesson to a lot of people that... This is, in my opinion, it's a pump and dump, and in my opinion, it's a scam. It was represented as something that it's not. It was never an investment opportunity, as Alpha Investment admits today. But it was sold to the poor Timmies as one. And these poor Timmies are not super rich people. The Taco Bell thing is, I mean, not everyone has the type of money to put into MetaZoo and lose it. A lot of people have lost a lot of money and they're angry. And they have, in my opinion, every right to be angry at Alpha Investments. This channel was basically dead until recently. And I think the shift is in the reality of, obviously we only made content about one dude, Alpha Investment. It is crazy, in my opinion, some of the stuff that Alpha Investment was able to get away with. It was crazy, in my opinion, for some of the individuals who have invested so much money. They're very angry. And the one thing in business you never want to do is have angry people or angry former customers. You have to be realistic. You have to be honest. You have to be transparent. Because I think MetaZoo is the end of Alpha Investments. The stress is getting towards him. You can tell. Um, it's no longer as fun, right, to sell these memes and sell these things. He's no longer as 
arrogant as he is before. I mean, all of his investment opportunities are just trash. Ravnica Remastered is an investment opportunity. What? Like, who wants this? Like, have you seen this set called Dominaria Remastered? Yikes, man. I mean, I don't know. And I imagine that in the future, people will be much more angry at him than they are today. When you mess with another man's money you're going to find out that that money is very hard. That's their children's money. That's their grandparents' money. That That's money that they need today. Going back to the guy who sold all these collections back to him for 10 cents and a dollar, he might openly support Alpha Investments, but privately, I guess he's not. Privately, when you get ripped off for this amount of money, you know, MetaZoo, he's never bought MetaZoo. He's never bought singles, collector's cards. He's never bought anything from this game. He told me sold it. And when he was selling MetaZoo and not buying it, he was buying uh, reserve list cards. He was like, he never, he doesn't buy Ravnica like Remastered. He's, he's buying reserve list. Like, guys, let's, let's be 100% honest here. He never wanted to buy this stuff. He only wa wanted to sell it. I mean, isn't that very concerning? Like, do as I say, not as I do. So if you want to be Alpha Investment, what you need to do is you need to buy the stuff he's buying and sell the stuff he's selling. Right? You can't be buying the stuff he's selling because that has no value. None of, none of the last three years of stuff that he sold. And... People say, oh, what about this? What about that? No, man. No. If there was something that would go up in price, you think he would sell it to you? You think this guy, with his greed and his, you know, unabashed nature and his ability to lie. I mean, I love what Nick and Strength said the best. He's not honest. He's not. He is not an honest guy. He is a person who will lie to you. And say that Ravnica Remaster is doing great today. It's not, guys. Like, you don't have... I mean... A set of reprints, right? Collector's editions, in general, have historically not held good value. This is from Throne of the Eldrin. How do I know this? Because I have a lot of mother effing collector's editions, guys. I have 10, 20, 30 of each of them. And historically, many of them are even break even from what the distribution price would be on a buy list. So, to buy more collector's editions, especially of a set like Ravnica Remastered, is insanity. Buy these singles, buy the collections if you need to. Like, he ain't going to ever tell you this. You buy these singles, guys. You buy these singles. Anyway, that's it. Bye, guys.